Oh, <laughs> I got to turn the TV off. Sorry, that moves too. Okay. Let's do that. Don't need any of that on. Okay, so looks like no one is on Zoom just yet. Sometimes it, take, it takes a minute for people to start popping on. We still have another minute. We're not quite at six. So yeah, Dave, got to send you a message, let you know of some things going on, check in on how see in my map view. How you're doing. Oh, good. So we have somebody else coming on over here on Zoom. That'll be good. Hey, Dave. David. I have David and Dave. So, um, David, if you could and feel comfortable, put on your camera. And then, and if you're not comfortable with that, that's okay too. Um, you may have, you might see some dogs coming in and out of the shot because I have one dog in there who's gated and he wants to come in here. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and get started. It's six o'clock. Yep, it's six o'clock now. So more people might pop on and that is... Wonderful. Dave, if you want to go ahead and turn your thing on. If not, again, like I said, that's okay. Um, other people come on. This is a new class. This is a new time. I didn't do this last week. I don't know if anyone did. So I don't know if this is a good time. It's a beautiful day. I know where Dave is. I don't know where David is. And what the weather is like but here it is gorgeous so if people are out playing hopscotch or whatever they're doing <clears throat> okay come to your mat we're going to take it really nice and slow today slow flow and some deep stretching so really nice i've had a very long day so this will be really nice to be with you guys while we're doing this we're going to start with a we're going to start with a um sorry Okay, can't use video. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> so sit up nice and tall. We're going to start with a breathing exercise. So your middle and index finger of either hand you're going to use. Um, I know at least one of you have done this before. So you're going to place your middle and index finger right at your brow point, either hand that you would like to use. You're going to sit your, um, on your hip bone, spine stretches up nice and tall. You can do the fingers at the eyebrow points, or you could just do your thumb and ring finger and skip the, the pressing of the eyebrows. But I like to press there, in and lift up. And I'm gonna cue you, we're gonna inhale, it's um, alternate nostril breathing. <coughs> Excuse me. So lift up, we're gonna start closing your left nostril, and let's inhale right. Close right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close, exhale right. Inhale right. Close, exhale left. Inhale left. Close, exhale right. Inhale right. Close, exhale left. Inhale left. Close, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, exhale, right. 
close at Della. Inhale left. Close, exhale right. Inhale right. Close, exhale left. Once more, inhale left. Close, exhale right. Just relax your arms by your side. Still sitting nice and tall. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Crown of the head stretches up. We're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, sit here for just a moment. I like to sit low, half lotus. Um, but we're just gonna sit here. We're gonna breathe in arms over your head sideways and do a little stretch. Inhale, arms up. Stretch fingertips wide. Stretch up. And let's exhale, release. As you bring the fingertips up, inhale. Arms out wide, bring in energy around you, pull the belly in, stretch through the fingertips, and exhale, release. We're just gonna create some space through both sides of the body as we breathe. Inhale, arms up, out and wide. Stretch all the way through the fingertips. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Now the head stretches up, exhale, release. Again, inhale, arms up, out and wide, length, belly in, and exhale, release. We're going to do it one more and hold at the top. Inhale, all the way up. Let's let the right hand relax down and left arm stretches over to the right. Keep your chest lifted. Bring your gaze up, right shoulder round, back. Keep the belly in. And let's come all the way back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, release left arm down. Right arm stretches over. Belly in. Bring your gaze to the ceiling. And back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. So first sort of deep stretch, depending, depending on where you're feeling things, we're going to bring the feet together and your feet can be very close into you or out. You do want to little, leave a little bit of space because what we're going to do is we're going to come forward and we're going to have our elbow points holding each other, our hands holding each opposite point, and we're just going to sort of go forward. Be heavy with these elbows and we're going to round forward. But what I want to do first is show you when we sit from the side, anyone who's worked with me before, you know posture is a big deal. So here's what we typically do with the rounding. We just kind of sit like this. So what you're going to need to do is you put your hands on the floor, lift yourself up, and kind of scoot your booty behind you. So hips go behind you. Again, so you can stay tall. We are going to go forward, but we don't want to roll back and go forward. We're going to go forward and go forward. All right, and we're gonna stay in this for a little bit of time. So just connect with the breath. This is great for um, extension of the backside of the spine and opening low back and those hips. And obviously this, we're deep in hips. So grabbing your opposite elbows, you're just gonna sit up tall. Again, we're going forward to go forward, not backward to go forward. Tall, and then just chin to chest and just start rounding forward. Let yourself be super heavy. And gravity is gonna guide you down. Keep your belly pulled in. Feel the release of the shoulders as the upper back rounds. I'm gonna stay here for just a little while. And as you do, I'm gonna cue you through some deep breathing. And I want you to pay attention to the expansion down in the pelvic area in your low back. Again, you can adjust the feet out farther or in farther. Let the knees relax. So we're going to stay here a moment before we really connect with that breath. You're going to feel this 
right at the top of the glutes, very low in the low back, top of the hips, and top of the glutes. So really try to let it go. Don't try to use any muscle tension to hold yourself up. As I walk you through the breath, we're just going to inhale through the nose and slowly as possible, and I'll cue you. Slowly bring the inhale in. Slow as you can, press your belly out. Feel the breath expand the very low back and top of your hips. Hold it at your very maximum inhale. So keep pulling it in the air. One more sit. And exhale completely and slowly, let it go. So maybe the head gets closer to the feet. Shoulders relax more. Let's do it again slowly as you can, inhaling through the nose. Press the belly out, feel the air expand the low back. Top of the hips. Exhale, gently release. Let the body get even heavier. We're going to do that a few more times. Notice how the body is opening as the head gets closer down towards the feet. Inhale slowly through the nose. Press the belly out. Exhale, melt. Let it all go. We're going to do one more. Inhale slowly, slowly as you can. Breathe down into the hips as you press the belly out. And exhale, completely let it go. Keeping yourself very heavy. Just bring your arms forward. Don't let the upper body come up. Just bring your arms up from both sides. Now watch, walk your fingertips forward. So use resistance of the floor, depending on how you're sitting on your mat. Walk your fingertips forward. We're just pulling the upper body a little more forward and feel that even deeper stretch right there in that low back, top of your hips. To really feel good, maybe it's a sensation that doesn't necessarily feel great. Stay away from pain, but don't run away from new places. So from here, let's also take another deep breath, press the belly out, breathe into that new space. And exhale, release. As you walk the fingertips forward, let's go back. We're gonna walk over to the right, just keep the body long, and you may not be able to go very far before the left side of the hip, low back area, really starts making itself known. So just walk where you can. Hold it there. Take a deep breath, inhale, press the belly out. Feel that opening. Exhale, let it go. We're going to do one more breath here. Really just let it expand. Inhale through the nose. And release. Wow, that's very good. So now we're going to walk back forward. Checking on you guys. Good. Let's walk over to the left. One side might be tighter than the other. Again, try not to run away from any new space. Just be aware of it. Take a deep breath, inhale. Press the belly out, feel that expansion. And exhale, release. Once more, inhale. Press the belly out. I can feel that all the way through the inner thigh, even a little down to my knee. Exhale, release. Just on the inside. Nothing hurting. Let's walk back forward. 
Keep your head relaxed and you're going to use your palms to lift you. So walk back up. When we go into some deep stretches, many times we don't feel so much. Well, let's just say you feel sometimes more as you come out. And if you work with me, then you've heard that before as well. So let's not bring the knees up by contracting anything that we just stretched. You want to put your hands underneath the legs and bring the knees up. That way we don't contract the awesomeness that we just created. We're just going to come on down to the mat now. Lie on your back. So let's stretch the legs long. So arms over your head. Pull the belly in, chin to chest. Feet stretch out. Let's bring both legs in. And we're going to bring the right knee up. Pull it around the knee. And pull the knee to the right shoulder. So again, we're still in these hips. Let's extend the left leg out. We're going to pull the knee in. You can flex your left foot. Keep your right foot really relaxed. And make sure that your right hip, if it has come up, try to just press it back down to keep the hips in alignment. Keeping your spine stretching, chin to chest, elbows in, and shoulders down. Really pull into that hip. And then we're going to bring, keep your uh, knee in. We're going to bring the left foot back up. And now we're going to hold inside of the leg at the big toe. Now, if you are um, somewhere that's nearby you and you want to grab a strap, or if you want to grab a tie, a scarf, or a belt, or what I actually prefer is that you don't, um, but you can, but bend the knee and go ahead and grab that big toe. So if you glance my way and you can see me, that's great. But if not, just listen to my words. We're grabbing with the middle and index finger. That's your first two fingers. You're grabbing around the big toe, inside that big and second toe. So get that grip on the toe there and your foot flexed. So my knee is bent at this point. With the foot flexed, you're going to just take the heel. Don't think about what everything else is happening. I just want you to press the heel up to the ceiling. And at the same time, press your right hip towards the floor. That might not get your legs straight, but it's probably straighter than it was. So try not to fight with that. If it stays bent, just press the heel up and find a place where you can relax there and breathe. So even with that bent knee, keep pressing right hip down and right heel up. So what we're going to do, whether you have a bent knee or a straight knee, we're going to drop the, not drop, we're going to bring slowly the right leg out. So even if you have the bent knee, that's okay. Keep pressing heel away from you. Right leg comes out. Don't just fall over. Extend your left leg forward if you can. Now again, we're not rolling over to the right. Extend your left arm and gaze over your left shoulder. Keep your belly button into your spine. Try to press that right heel out to the right. And you can also flex the left foot. We're just going to breathe here a moment. No matter where you are, take a deep breath again. Press belly out. And exhale completely relax. Maybe that right leg drops over a little bit more. Once you learn to relax the tension, inhale, press belly up. And release. So we don't want to bring a straight leg or a bent knee up. From here, let's just go ahead, bend the knee and let the right foot come down. We'll meet back at the center and we'll bring both legs back up. Let's do the left side. So left knee comes in. Hold just a little bit below the nose with the knee with a good grip. And you're going to pull the knee to your left shoulder. Try to keep that low back flat. So press it down into the floor and extend your right leg. So your right foot can flex, but left foot stays relaxed. Bring your chin into your chest, elbows in, and try to bring your shoulders away from the ears. So now left hip, you want to keep it down. into that left tip pretty deeply. Let's hold on to it. And 
Alrighty, as we release that, let's bring the right foot back up. And now we're going to hold inside the left leg at the big toe. So again, two fingers, just your middle and index finger, right around that big toe. And get a grip. If the knee is bent, that is okay. Both sides are going to be different, so don't worry. Actually, that's a good thing. It's natural. And maybe this side's a little less challenging. Keep the foot flexed, even with a bent knee. Now just take the, knee, the heel and press it to the ceiling. Let your left hip go down and forward. Try your best. Pull the low belly in and make sure that the low back, try to make it flat. So eliminate any arching in that low back if you can. If the knee stays bent, still okay. Let's take a breath and just try to relax it. So if I've got that bent knee, no problem. No matter where you are there, you're just gonna let the leg come over to the left, even if the knee is bent, and let's extend the right leg out. You can flex the right foot here if you would like. Left foot, heel keeps pressing away from you. Pull the belly in. And you can gaze over your right shoulder. And again, we're not going to come out of this with the bit of the, um, a straight leg. But first, let's take a really deep inhale, press the belly out. Exhale, completely let it go. See if you can't maybe relax that hip a little bit. Maybe a hamstring relaxes so that the leg can go straight if it's bent. Another deep breath, inhale. And exhale, completely let that go. Now we're gonna bend that knee and just let the knee come in. And both legs can come up. Let's bring knees to chest and just round a little forward, bringing forehead to knees. From here, we're just gonna roll up. We're gonna find our way in our tabletop position. So you can just give yourself a little roll. We're gonna cross the legs and roll all the way forward and come to your tabletop. All right, in your tabletop position, we're gonna go ahead and go into our first down dog. We're gonna go into a bit of a flow. You can see probably the theme of this. We're gonna get deep into those hips. So let's just round the toes and we'll press up to our first down dog. So hips go high. Try to stretch the hips up and back, keeping yourself light through the palms and the shoulders. Maybe this first down dog isn't gonna allow too much opening. We'll go ahead and paddle the feet, bending one knee and then the other. You'll feel much more open before we're finished today. So move the hips as well, and then come back. Let's stop there, press the heels back, and again, try to straighten, stretch the spine, belly in. We're just going to look a little forward and walk all the way up to the top. Let your upper body just fold on the thighs with bended knees. Bring weight a little to your toes. And then to the heels, find a great center point of both of weight evenly distributed on the ball of the foot and the heels. Pull your pubic bone a little bit to your face, and on an inhale, let's slowly come all the way up. Keep pubic bone pulled forward. Then slowly stacking vertebrae one on top of the other. Chin comes off chest last. All right, toes and heels, bring them to touch. Hands together at heart center. So that's inhale, arms over your head sideways. Scoop in energy around you, stretch the ceiling, bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, make the halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, we're doing it again. Inhale, arms up, trying to stretch through the spine. Bend the knees, exhale, fold with a flat back. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way back up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up all the way up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. We're going to add here. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms. Let's step the right leg back and let's stay here in a high lunge. Left leg's in front of you. You're in a high lunge here. We're just going to hold it just a little bit. We're activating that right thigh. So from here, just take the, the pelvis and just sort of tilt it forward. Again, so a little bit pubic bone towards left heel. Just feel how that really activates and fires up your right quad. And then bring your right knee down. So your right knee is down, top of the foot can come flat. So fingertips on the floor, if you're at home and you have blocks or books and you brought those to your mat, you can bring those beside of you. Or again, just fingertips. And just the front, down to that front knee. So again, a little bit, pelvis tilt forward, so pubic bone towards the heel, and sink. So our hips, right when we do hip opening postures, we think pigeon, and we think hip from the back and the side, but the front side is also your hip. So hip flexor here, but we're also deep into that left knee. We're going to go deeper into that, I'm sorry, left hip. We're going to go deeper. Keep chest up. Scoop the pubic bone a little bit more forward. Okay, right hand can come down on the inside. Let's heel toe, actually stay here for just a second. Bring your right hand down, kind of at the edge of the mat, and push your left knee away from you as your right hip drops forward, and bring your gaze over that left shoulder. Keep your belly in and your chest lifted. And then come back to center. Now bring your left hand inside the foot. We're going to heel toe the left foot over to the edge of the mat. We're going to stay here. So lizard, stay here with the chest up. And if you need your blocks, you can have them. I'm setting you up before we go to elbows. So again, pelvis a little forward, chest lifts. Stretch through your spine. All right, so from here we're going to bring right elbow down. It's going to be easier to touch. If you need a block, you grab that again, or books, and you can stay here. Of course, you can stay hands too, but if you can get down on that right elbow, fantastic. And if you get down on the left, that's great as well. Keep pubic bone pulled forward and stretch to the crown of your head. So nice and lengthen all the way. So you guys stay there. You can keep the head relaxed. and breathe. So we're going to connect with breath. Just plug that in. Take a deep breath, press the belly out. So now we're expanding in that left hip. And as you do, maybe you sink a little deeper. Or maybe the right leg can walk back a little bit more. Take a breath, press the belly out. See if you could move into that hip. I'm going to hold it here for just a few more moments. Danielle, I didn't get to say hi to you. So glad you're here. Alrighty. So bringing your palms back to the floor. Again, we're not going to, hi Danielle, I got your thumbs up. We're not going to use the, what we've just stretched, right? So use your palms to walk yourself back up just a little bit, enough to heel toe the left foot 
back into center. And then we're going to just slide the hips back so that the left leg can stretch. Flex the left foot and stretch your chest towards your toes. Pull your left hip back just a little bit and stretch your chest more forward. So now I've got this counter stretch here underneath that left leg. Alrighty, you're gonna bring your hands back to the side if they're not there and you're gonna bring yourself a little forward. We're gonna go into pigeon on the left hand side. So now heel toe the foot all the way over to the right edge of the mat. Try to keep both hip points facing forward with the shin parallel to the front of the mat. And then you can sink the hips forward and the heel can slide into the center line of the body as it needs to. Try not to roll over onto the left hip. You wanna keep the hips forward, both facing forward, keeping your right hip forward. And go ahead, try to keep your chest lifted at this point. Right leg extends behind you. Stretch it even more if it needs to. Right hip a little forward. And then with length that's still created in the spine, walk your hands forward. You can come head on a block. You can rest on the elbows. You can stay high on the hands if you need to. So I had lost my, my connection over here on the other thing. So I'll let you guys know we're on pigeon on the left hand side. And we're gonna connect with that breath. So when you breathe deeply here, and I will walk you through that, you're going to feel more sensation, maybe even a little bit of, I'm not gonna use the word pain, but sensation as the hip expands. So again, don't run away from that. That's the breath expanding more space. So what you're gonna do there is just notice it and let it go. Try to let the exhale then melt the sensation as your body again maybe moves a little bit forward and the hip goes a little bit deeper. So okay, we're back. So another deep breath, inhale. We're going to pigeon on the left-hand side. And then one last breath. Go to your max. Deep into that left hip. So again, coming out of a posture is just as important of how you go in it. So again, we're not just coming out with no intention. So bring your palms in, walk yourself up. And now here, you have an option. If you want to go through a vinyasa, I'm going to walk you through that. If you just want to roll over to your right hip, you can. If you do that, pull your leg forward. Otherwise, we're going to bring both hands on the floor and round your back toes and come to a three point dog left leg stretches up and back. Step forward with your left foot, right foot comes to meet it, fold upper body on side. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back, exhale, fold. We're gonna step the right foot back, left foot steps back, high plank. Come to the knees this first one. We're gonna shift forward, elbows in, and exhale all the way down. Little baby cobra here, so bring your elbows in and up with the upper body, thighs contracted, and look up. Upper body comes down, round your toes. We're gonna to press to down dog. Press up and back. We're gonna look forward and just gently walk all the way to the top. Upper body folds on thighs, inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, arms all the way up. Hands together to heart center. 
Inhale, arms out and up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, palms on the mat. Let's let, let, let step back. Now we're in our high lunge. So right knee forward. So hands down on the floor again to the fingertips or blocks or books. So now that left thigh, make sure it's solid. We're staying here for just a moment. We're going to bring the pubic bone again. So a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Even if you don't actually see a physical movement, you should feel that. The difference of pulling the pubic bone forward fires up that left thigh. More space created in that low back. And now we're going to bring the left knee down. Hold here for a moment. Push the hips forward, sinking deep into that right knee. And again, all kinds of opening in the left hip flexor. So spine stretches tall. Alrighty, so what we tend to do when one leg is in front, we open the hip of the opposite side. We want to keep that hip forward. So again, take your pubic bone and pull it a little bit forward towards the right heel as you sink deeper. You should feel more space created. You went deeper into that area. All right, bring your left hand down on the inside, right hand on the knee, press the knee away from you, and bring your gaze to the ceiling. Keep your belly in. Pelvis forward. and come back to center. So now both hands in the inside of the foot, heel to the right foot over. Stay here for this lizard. So we're setting it up again, deep into that right hip. So don't contract the thigh. If you wanna feel the difference, a lot of times I'll have people do something wrong so that they can realize what it means to actually release. So if you want to go ahead and cry, kind of clench, try to clench, um, your right hip, like your right glute, your right butt cheek. And then see, that's not what you want. So then just try to relax it. And again, sometimes the more relaxed we are, the more of that sensation you actually feel. So we're on our hands, pull your pubic bone, pelvis forward, and sink deeper into that right hip. Trying to stay nice and long all the way through the spine. Let's bring the left elbow down. Stay there. Again, you can stay on the hands. If you can, you can bring your right elbow down. Again, we want to stay deep into the hip, but also that left hip flexor. Just so stretching forward all the way. Takes a deep belly breath here, press the belly out. Feel that breath in that right hip, oh my goodness. And exhale, release. See how you sink, there's huge difference. Let's take it again, inhale, breath through the nose, belly out. And exhale, release. Even deeper. We're going to do one more. Inhale. And exhale. All right, palms to the floor very gently. So again, we're not going to do anything to go into the space that we just created. So use your hand as you straighten that right leg. We're going to heel to the foot back to center. And we'll do the counter stretch. So flex the foot. Heel stays on the mat, straighten the leg, and make sure your spine is straight. We're gonna lengthen down to the toes through your chest. Take your right hip and pull it back just a little bit, and there you go, even deeper. Stretch the chest forward. <clears throat> and make sure you're breathing, so way into the back of that leg. Connect with the breath, deep breath, inhale, belly out. And stretch a little bit more down towards your toes. Use your chest to lead you. 
hands on the floor. We're going to go to pigeon right side. So we're going to heel to the foot over. And again, try to keep your left hip forward, not falling over to the right. So shin parallel to the front of the mat as you bring the hips down and then let the right heel come into the center line of the body as it needs to. But don't roll over to your right hip or try not to. And if you do, just to adjust yourself, just make sure you're bringing your left hip back forward. So we're going to keep spine straight, chest lifts right now. Stretch the left hip back, the left leg back. Chest stays up. You should already feel this in your right hip. Now again, if you want to feel what it feels like to do it not in a relaxed position, clench that right hip up, but then relax it. And again, as you relax more, you're very likely to feel more of that sensation. Don't run away. Just relax. Okay, we're going to start with a straight, nice, long spine coming forward. Come to your elbows. You can always stay up with your chest. You can come to the elbows. You can lengthen your arms out in front of you. And now let's connect with the breath. Really open that right hip. And when it starts to feel crazy as you use your breath, just remember that's breath. That's space. Don't run. Just relax. Deep breath. Inhale through your nose slowly. Press the belly out. Exhale. Now try to find more relaxation. Maybe the chest goes down. Whew. Inhale through your nose. There it is. There's that sensation. Keep breathing in slowly. Breathe through. Left hip stays forward. Exhale, melt. One more. Inhale through your nose. Breathe into that right hip. Exhale, release. Alrighty. So again, we only use the hands. We're not using any legs. Press palms in. So here we're just going to go into the three-point dog. Again, you can roll over to the right hip and drag your left leg around. Otherwise, let's roll the back toes. Tuck them under. Three-point right leg stretches up and back. Float forward. Let's step all the way forward. Meet at the top. Upper body folds on thighs. Inhale, lift halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your palms. Right leg steps back. We're going into our high lunge. Stay here, high lunge. You can come to the knees. This time I'm staying up in my high, um, not my high lunge, my high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, and come all the way down. Chaturanga. Now let's go up dog. Hands on the floor, stretch up. And down dog. All right, so right leg, stretch it up and back. We're going to open the right hip. So drop your foot behind you and let your knee open. All the way open. Drop the heel heavy behind you. Right knee is up. Just enjoy this. We're going to step the right foot forward all the way up. Left foot comes to meet it. Inhale, lift halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. All right. We're going to stay into that right side here. We're going to go into eagle. I'll actually face you. Right hand, right arm comes under left arm. So cross up the elbows and twist at the wrist. And pull your elbows down. Take a deep breath and sit down. Maybe I'll do it at an angle. So you want to have weight in your heels, upper body back. We're going to bring your right leg up and over the left leg. And sink your left hip back down, your left knee back down, so the hips come down. We're in that right hip here. We're in both, really. You're really opening in the low back. So find your balance and stay here. So pull your pubic bone towards the knees as your chest lifts more. Make sure that the weight is in your left heel. Unwrap, well, actually lift your elbows up and let's round forward over the knees. So again, more in that low back. 
And now we're gonna release that, hands on the floor, step your right foot back, your left foot back, we're back in our high plank. Shift forward, exhale all the way down. Inhale, up dog, and down dog. Left leg stretches up and back, stretch it back, bend the knee, and then open hips left. Really try to let that left foot be heavy and fall behind you. Knee opens up, opening the left hip. Let's step all the way to the top. Toes and heels touch. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. We're going to go to the left side for our eagle. Left arm underneath right. Cross and twist. I'm going to go back up to the top of the mat in just a minute. I just want to face you first. Pull the elbows down. Suck your stomach in and sit down. So make sure the weight is in your heels. Left leg comes up and over. And twist. Sink deep into that hip. Bend the knee more, chest up. Now take your pubic bone, pull it a little bit towards the knees and chest up more. So elbows up and round over the knees. More stretch in that low back. And twist your hands, palms to the floor. Left leg steps back, right foot to meet it. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and down dog. All right, let's go to the knees here. Open the knees wide for our first child pose. So make sure that the toes, the big toes touch and the hips are stretching you back as your fingertips are stretching you forward. So you should be really open in the hips really open in the low back. So really sink forward. So this child's pose is a nice resting spot, but it's also a big hip opener and stretches through your spine if you allow it to. So if you need to come up, you can adjust by a little bit tilting pelvis forward up to the ceiling, not forward, up to the ceiling and hips sink to the heels as you lengthen forward. So you should find that more space in that child's pose. Knees can be super wide and lengthen arms forward. Looks good. Now let's connect with the breath. Now this time we're breathing into both hips. Deep breath, press the belly out. Feel the hips expand. And exhale, walk more forward. Chest stays up. Again, deep breath, inhale. Sink deep into those hips. So we're lengthening the spine. We're going to come back up to our tabletop position. We're going to open to the right. So stretch your right foot back and open to the right. So left foot can kickstand, right foot stretches back, fingertips stretch up. Push your hips forward and upper body stretches up. So we're going to come back to this in a little bit for a back bend. Keep lengthening up, pubic bone pushes forward. And let's come back, right foot steps all the way to the top. So now we're back into our lizard. Leave your left hand down, right hand to knee, press the knee open and twist. Pull the pubic bone forward, belly in. Both hands back down, come back to your right leg, stretch it back. So here we're gonna keep it up, kick stand your back leg and arms, right arm up. So we're gonna do a back bend here. 
push your pubic bone forward. So we're opening that right hip. I want you to stretch the right hand back as you bend the right leg, hold it to your big toe, push your hips forward, chest up, and open. Keep chest lifted. Right shoulder opens. We're not just gonna let go of that foot, we're gonna come out with control. Same way you went in, right hand releases, right leg stretches back, knees touch, let's sink back four, knees together, child's pose, stretch upper body forward. Now with the knees together and the upper body on thighs, you can really feel the belly pressing into the thighs and opening the low back. So let's do it, inhaling through the nose, press the belly out. And exhale, release. Inhale, breathe belly out. Exhale, release. Slide your hands back in. Come back to your tabletop. Left leg stretches back. And we're going to open left. Toes to the floor, this one. Fingertips stretch up. Pubic bone presses forward, chest up. And we're going to bring left hands down. We're stepping all the way up to the edge of the mat, left side. Right hand stays down, press onto the knee, press the knee away from you. Again, pubic bone, pull it forward as the chest stays up and look to the ceiling. Hands back to the floor. Let's come back. Left leg stretches back. And now we're going to open. Keep your left leg up. And now we're going to do the back bending this side. So push your hips forward. Right left arm extends and grab your foot. The arch side. So big toe side. Stretch chest up. Hips forward. And open. Again, we're not just going to fly out of this. Do it with control. Left hand comes down. Both knees touch. And sink your hips low. Upper body on thighs. Deep breath. Inhale. Press belly out. And exhale. Release. Bring yourself back up. Palms to, um, on the mat. We're going to press up to down dog. Hips go high. Belly in, lengthen through your spine. So you should feel hips opening here. Pull that low belly in. Create space all the way through your back. Right leg stretches up and back. And let's open right. Really open more of that hip, belly in. Look, maybe underneath your right armpit. Let's go all the way forward, step forward. Stay here for the lunge. Let's inhale, arms up. So deep lunge here. Make sure that left thigh is contracted. Let's do a little bit of a spine twist. Palms together, hands to heart center, and let's twist right. Left elbow on top of the right knee. Stretch the crown of your head. And back to center. Both hands down, kick knee at the top, toes and heels touch. Now we're going to bend the knees and inhale, come to chair. Sink your hips low, chest stays lifted. Weight in the heels. Keep your pubic bone a little forward towards the knees, the belly in and chest up. Stretch to the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, full. We'll go through the vinyasa. Palms on the floor. Either jump back to throw your chaturanga. Step back. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. All right. Hips up and back. Left leg stretches up and back. Lengthen. And then let's open left. Drop that foot behind you. Hips even more open. Maybe gaze underneath the left armpit. Let's bring it back to center. Step all the way forward for your high lunge. Inhale, arms up. 
Sink deep into that front leg. Right thigh solid. We're going to add the twist. Palms together, hands to heart center. And let's twist left. Right elbow to knee. Keep the space all the way through the crown of the head. Back to center. Stepping to the top. Both feet touch. Upper body on top. Inhale, it's halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, sink deep, inhale, chair. Belly in, chest stays lifted. Again, keep it going a little forward towards the knees. And exhale, fold. Inhale, the tap plate flat back. Exhale, fold, go through your chaturanga. And we're going to lean in down dog. Go through your vinyasa. I think you guys probably knew what I meant. And then open knees wide and come back to your child's pose again. Always finding space. So hips lift as the hips stretch back. Fingertips stretch forward. You can open those knees wide. Really feel the release right at the low back, top of your hips. Just walking toward you. Alrighty, we're gonna come back to the tabletop. So slide your hands back in tabletop position. Let's inhale, right arm stretches up. We're gonna thread it underneath the left. Bring your right shoulder down and left fingers forward. So stretch the left fingertips. Keep the belly, low belly pulled in. So we got into these hips. We're gonna do just a couple more things before we end. That is gonna really get you deep into those hips today. Let's slide the left hand back and go ahead, bring the arm out. Stretch up, bring your hand down. We're gonna do the other side. Left arm stretches up, thread it underneath the right. Right arm extends. So now we're, hips are high. So this is the shoulder opener, right? I mean, it's stretching the shoulder. But look at your hips. Your hips are high. You're creating space, continuing to lengthen all the way through the spine. And you should still feel the hips opening. And so in our next posture, you're going to see how that connects. Belly in. Right hand slides back, press the palm into the floor, left arm stretches up and come back. So now arms are going to just come out. So we got the puppy dog here. We're just gonna go forward, keeping hips high. You can open the knees as much really as you would like to here. Try to bring your chest down and your hips up. So see if you can't keep the hips stacked over the knees and spine stretches long. So if you can't do that, that's a, all, a very big shoulder opener as well. You can just keep the hips high and bring your forehead down. You can come to a block if you need to. If you can keep your arms stretching long and hips over knees, great. If, the, if you have to come a little forward or a little more back, but feel this pulling the belly in in your low back. From here, careful as you come out, just kind of push the elbows into the mat and bring your hips a little forward, palms to the mat. Last thing for the deep hips here is sprawl. So knees wide, super wide, and your feet turn out. So feet turn out, and then as the knees go really wide, you can try to keep the hips over your knees and your chest comes down. We're gonna stay here for a few last moments together. Try not to go way far back or way too forward. So more forward is really 
you're stretching and that's all that's always good so, so nothing's bad but i want you to get maximum stretch right here so keep keep hip, hips over knees and belly in stretching again all the way through the crown of your head if you go way too far back it'll be way too intense and then also not so healthy for the body so you want to keep the knees safe everything safe but if it's not intense enough you got to bring those hips a little back ideally right over the knees if you could bring your chest down go ahead and do that again don't get too too comfortable where you slide too far forward Let's connect to that breath, deep breath, press belly out. Right in those inner thighs, my goodness. Exhale, release. Deep breath, inhale. Press belly out. Exhale, melt. Deep breath, inhale, last breath, deep breath, deep gut, press the belly out. Don't run from the sensation. Exhale, melt. So again, as we come out, a lot of times that's more important. Just try to slide your feet in a little bit. Bring your elbows in. Walk yourself up. Just gently start sliding those knees. Feet maybe come together and you can just slide forward with a very wide knees child's pose. Final really deep breath as you press the belly out into the low back, into the hips, down into the top of glutes. As you exhale, slide the hands back, push yourself all the way up. Now we did some intense hip, hip opening here. We're gonna turn around, bring your legs out in front of you. Just for one final full body stretch. So slide the legs long, arms stretch over your head, chin to chest, pull belly in. And let's roll to the side. We're going to come up to a seated position to end our practice. Sitting the way we started, cross leg position, or you can go into full or half lotus. <clears throat> Keep the spine straight. You can relax your eyes, shoulders relax. Three deep breaths together, we'll bring arms over our head sideways. Inhale, arms up. Relax the shoulders, belly in, keep stretching through the fingertips. Exhale, release. Let it go. Inhale, arms up. Belly in. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, arms up. Hold it at the top. Inhale, fingertips stretch up. Bring your palms together, hands to heart center, eyes open, and namaste.